What's going on YouTube? Charlie Eugene back with another video. Today I have a Dell Latitude 7320. This is the two-on-one model here, the one that folds back into like a 360. They also have a standard uh, laptop and then they have a detachable keyboard screen one. So this is the two-in-one model. And today I'm making this video because I want to change out the heatsink fan to the processor. This machine's starting to uh, run hot. Also, the fans kick up at random times. So I want to change this out along with the thermal paste. I want to reapply thermal paste to see if that fixed the problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've already loosened the screws. It's eight screws total. These screws are spring loaded, so you don't have to worry about losing screws. So I've already did that. So let's open this up, take the lid off. As you can see, let me bring this up closer. As you can see, you see the, the discoloration here. It looks like it's been getting really hot. And that makes me believe that the thermal paste is starting to get really flaky and old. So I want to change it out to a new one. See, this looks a lot better than that one. All right. You might not have to change out your fan. You might just want to clean your fan with a, uh, some air dust can or toothbrush and get that dust out of there and just reapply thermal paste. But I'm just going to do the whole process for you guys. And also, before I start... The SSD is right here. I already changed this out. I didn't want to make a video on that because it's a really easy process. Underneath this uh, cover here, it's just two screws, two screws to hold this cover in place. And you can pop in a new SSD, the uh, typical size, the most common size, the 2280 size or whatever size you want, actually. Uh, mine's came with a 2230 size with a little adapter piece. And then I just popped in the 2230, excuse me, 2280. All right. So I didn't want to do a video on that. It's very easy to do that. All right. All right, so let's get into the video here. I got some thermal paste here. I got two screwdrivers. All you're going to need to do this job is two screwdrivers. One of them I use to get the lid off, and this one is a little bit bigger because I think somebody's been in this system before, and the screws seem like they were stripped a little bit. So I had to use a little bigger size screwdriver here. All right. All right, so this, this thermal paste is old, so I'm hoping it's still good. I don't know if the thermal paste expires or gets really old. We'll find out. But I got that. I got some cotton swabs as well. Cotton balls and swabs to clean the old uh, thermal paste off. I got a um, scraper tool to scrape off, help scrape off the old thermal paste. And I got rubbing alcohol. And I got my magnetic, magnetic mat here so I don't lose screws because I'm infamous for losing screws. All right. So that's all you're going to need to get this job done. But first and foremost, you definitely want to definitely want to disconnect the battery here. You don't want to just work on this with the battery plugged in for RAM upgrades and solid state drive upgrades. I don't disconnect the battery, but for this, I'm going to do it. So the little tab here, you just lift up on this tab and just wiggle it until it comes out. There you go. So that's disconnected. Now we can um start disconnect uh, start unscrewing the processor and the fan screws here all right so let me sit down i'm standing up right now let me sit down and get more comfortable for you guys all right so there's four screws total here for the processor and then there's two screws here and there's this little small connector fan connector to the motherboard be very careful because it is very you can tell it's very the wires are thin and you might want to be very careful disconnecting this so you don't uh, tear the uh let me show you guys this a little closer so you don't disc this little small wire. You want to be very careful with this. It's very, very thin and frail. So you want to be careful with that. All right. But since I got I got the battery disconnected, so we don't have to worry about that. Let me start. Uh, look at that. See that? Let me uh, start with this here. Like I say in all my videos, use the correct screw driver size. Do not just use anything. All right, do these come out? Looks like this don't wanna come out. I don't think it comes out. Let's, we'll find out here. Let's just continue unscrewing here. They should come out, because how am I gonna put them in the new one? Loosen them up first. We'll figure it out as we go. And I have a little cold, so if my voice sounds a little different than usual, it's because I got a little cold. All right. So these screws seem okay. It does come out. It 
delete those. Come on, stick those there. I guess this tip isn't magnetic on this screwdriver. Okay, place these on this mat. This mat is a lifesaver for me, man, because I, I lose screws all the time. So that was a nice investment, a good investment. All right. And then should be only two screws to get this fan part out. Damn, what's this screwdriver? It was magnetic. These screws are starting to just go anywhere, everywhere. <clears throat> Put these over here so I know these are for the fan. Okay, that one stuck to this tip. That's good. All right. So now that should be it as far as all the screws. Let's disconnect this part. Like I said, be very careful when you disconnect this because the wire is very thin. There we go. Now it should come off. We're going to find out. There's a tab right here that you can lift up on for this side. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Out of there. So the page doesn't look too bad. So that might not have been the issue. It doesn't look too bad, but I'm, I'm definitely going to um, clean this chip off and then reapply it and put it back on and see the difference. Excuse me. This is a very easy job, guys. Let's see if these fan companies are the same. Yeah, this fan, I don't know. I don't know which one's OEM. Because as you can see, it's definitely different. All right, don't know. And that might be why. If you look at the difference here, this one looks gray, grayish in here, and this one looks black. So I don't know which one's OEM. I'm, I have a feeling that the new one, well, not the new one, the, the, the used one I bought off of eBay is the OEM part. So let's let's put this to the side. And this is the hard part, guys. So I might fast forward this part of the video because cleaning off this, this paste can be a kind of a headache. But we'll see how it goes. All right. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Let me do the Q-tip first. Dip that in here. And let's start applying it. Okay. See that? It's coming off pretty easy. So I don't have to fast forward. Oh, yeah. That's very easy very easy to apply this paste on here as well i just hope my paste isn't too old because i haven't used it in a long time if, if that if that's the case i'm probably going to have to um go get some thermal paste at micro center and then i'll probably have to stop filming this video and then add a, set, a part two to this video but we'll see. I don't know. If does, does thermal paste expire, guys? Let me know in the uh, comments below. I don't know. So clean that off really good. This is your processor right here. You want to clean this off really good. That looks good. Yep, that looks good. So that looks good. So what I'm going to do. Let me try this new paste. This might help, man. I hope it helps because this machine is decent. It's only got eight gigs of RAM. Unfortunately, the RAM is soldered for this model, but it's still a decent machine. And like I said, I'm using a uh, uh, Apple a lot more these days. If, if you saw my last video talking about seven reasons why I like Mac over Windows, but it's always cool to have Windows machines around. If I can get this open, let me see if I can get this open. This is in here pretty good. All right. Got that off. Let's see, man. This paste. I don't know. So I would imagine you would want to paste right here on this part and this part as well. Those two parts probably get really hot. So let's see. Oh, yeah, this paste is still good. So I would do like two little circles, two little dots. Don't get too carried away with the paste because it just gets really messy and you don't need as much as you think you do. All right. That should be good. Let me do maybe a little bit more on this side. All right. That should be it. Now, also, 
I make sure you clean off. You don't want to leave too much residue from the old paste on there. You want to clean as best you could. I couldn't get this little bit here off, but that should be good enough. All right. So you want to make sure to get the old residue off. Now, let's set this bad boy down. I would say line the fan up first with the screws and then drop it down. Put a little pressure on it. Don't get too crazy with it. There you go. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna put one screw in um, in the processor and then one screw in the fan just so it stays lined up. Let me see here. I'm probably gonna do this screw here first. All right, that should be it. And then I'm gonna do one fan screw right now, just so it stays lined up. Do it however you feel comfortable, but I think this is the best idea. And uh, we're gonna see, man. I'm hoping this calms the fans down a little bit, cause it randomly gets loud <clears throat> and it's kind of weird. All right, so now I'm gonna fasten down the other screw Don't have to He-Man the screws. Those for you younger you younger cats out there don't know who He-Man is. I would suggest YouTube and you, uh, He-Man. Pretty cool cartoon back in the uh, 80s and early 90s. All right. And now let's do the rest of the screws for the processor. I should have did star pattern, but, you know, whatever. That's pretty much it, guys. Really easy. This should fix it. This fan looks a lot better than the old one. And I don't know, man. That seemed like a... That doesn't seem OEM. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining this is the OEM one, man. And that might... This might be the, the problem with this machine. Is that... It had a cheap fan in here, man. And that's why I started... There we go. All right, so you guys get the point of the video. Very easy to, to do this, and you might not have to change out your fan. Just clean off, clean off the uh, thermal paste and reapply thermal paste, man. That might do the job for you, all right? So now, connect, connect the, uh, the fan back to the motherboard. Just be careful, like I said, this is a really, really, skinny and fragile um, connection cable here. All right, that should be it. Let me make sure the other side's in. All right, that should be in there good enough. I don't wanna mess it up even more. Reconnect your battery and that's it, guys. So we're gonna find out once I connect this battery back. There you go, you hear it? Connect, that's it. Put your, put your lid back on. You're done. Very easy job, and this looks so much better. Let me show you guys the old one again. Look at that. Let me stand up so I can see, too. Look at that. That looked like it was getting really hot. You see, or it's just cheap. Either or. This looks like a, a knockoff part or something like that. doesn't look like the... This one, I think this is the, the original part. But anyway, this is Charlie Eugene. Just wanted to show you guys how to reapply paste and change out the heat sink fan, okay? And I'm gonna put the lid back on and should be good to go. I'm gonna run the uh, core temp application, see if the temperatures are at normal. And that's it. Please click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave comments below. Charlie Eugene, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.